The search for a person swept away at Johnson Creek this morning has been suspended tonight due to dangerous conditions brought on by the heavy rain. And with this rescue, it is now a recovery mission. Joel Jones watching out for you with the latest on these efforts as first responders, as well as water safety tips during this atmospheric river that's about to hit. Joel. That's right. Out here in Milwaukee, Jeff, you can see and hear just how fast this creek is rushing. With the National Weather Service showing water levels nearly tripled over the weekend, Portland Fire and Rescue are asking people to keep their distance as it seems these dangerous conditions have already claimed one life. You get eight pounds a gallon flowing at you, sweeping you up. It's going to capture people, and unfortunately, that's what happened. A rescue effort turned recovery mission. As water levels rise amid an atmospheric river, officials warn so does the threat of mudslides and drownings. They were clutching onto a seat cushion and the seat cushion was found near a bunch of logs that had been amassed, but there was no ability to see anybody. Rick Graves with Portland Fire and Rescue says around 7 this morning, several agencies rushed to Johnson Creek to try and rescue a person swept downstream near the Tacoma Max station. But tells us due to increased rains, the waters were high, fast, and treacherous, even for the Clackamas County Swiftwater team. Both of their crafts flipped. Everybody's fine as far as our rescuers are concerned, but it's just an unsafe situation to continue any further investigation and location of this individual that went into the water, and we were unable to successfully locate them throughout the day. Graves says the person, now presumed drowned, was likely trapped in an underwater strainer of logs. And until water levels drop, he says conditions are too dangerous for dive teams to recover them. What was at once a 5, 10 foot creek that now becomes 25 feet in width with an increased flow. The failed rescue comes as inclement weather continues to erode banks and raise water levels throughout our region. Take a look at Johnson Creek near Southeast Bell Avenue on Friday night. Then the National Weather Service reporting a water level of 2.6 feet. And here's that same spot tonight. The water level nearly doubling today with a reported peak of 5 feet. The water level, as I understand it, uh, will be rising up and to Wednesday, perhaps even after Wednesday. So we're going to see increasing water flow for the next couple days. So just to be safe for yourself and everybody else, stay away from the creek's edge. Now, with this weather expected to continue, officials are urging people to only walk on paved pathways as the added rain can also create mudslides. They also say anyone recreating near any body of water should always wear a life vest. Reporting live from Johnson Creek, I'm Joel Jones, Queen 6 News. All right.